All right, what's up guys? Hey, this is Travis here with The Crossing and Ayana. And we've got some Bimini hacker tips for you coming in hot. So we're here in Bimini and we've been here for a couple, di couple days working on our logistics trip and um, getting everything dialed in. And we wanted to give you a heads up on a few things here with uh, regards to the event and what's coming up in June. Yeah, and just we're trying to set expectations as best as possible. You know, you're, we're always on island time when we come over to the Bahamas, right? Things are always a little bit slower. And, um, and know that too, when we get a lot of people who come over here to Bimini, right? Uh, you get an influx of people and it puts a lot of uh, pressure on the water system and the power system here. So we've been here for a few days and the power and the water has gone off at several times. It always yeah. comes back on. So you don't have to worry, it will come back on, but just know that always. that's normal for it to cut out and come back on. So just yeah. be prepared for that. Especially in June when you're they're at max capacity between both islands, that strain on the power system and the water supply is, is inevit inevitable, it's gonna happen. So like Travis said, it always comes back on. It doesn't take very long. So be, be patient, but also be prepared for whatever you may need. That means if you need a backup battery for your cell phone, like a portable battery, if you need extra water, bring extra gallons of water to brush your teeth, et cetera, just in case. And as far as maintenance goes, you know, if you show up and you've got something wrong in your hotel room or at your condo and you've got an issue, you know, you can alert us, the team, and we'll make sure we let the staff, the management know. But at the end of the day, there may be small things here and there that aren't working entirely properly or that aren't up to the standards that we have in the U.S. And just know that that's totally okay and normal and we'll do the best to take care of it as much as possible. Awesome. Um, that comes into the topic of food. So when the power goes down or the water shuts down, restaurants stop working. So we sent out another video on food that you can watch on our YouTube. Um, so please watch that, but be prepared. When these restaurants shut down, if you're planning on eating there, you wanna be totally self-reliant and having snacks and food prepared for yourself to cover your needs. Mm -hmm. And the same thing when it comes to uh, just being prepared with cash, bring a lot of small bills. What'd you um, say? Cash bill. Oh, 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 oh wow. cash. You guys, cash is king. It gets you everything here in Bimini. All those um, $5 bills. <laughs> hey, I got some 50s in there too. <laughs> but no, seriously, the restaurants take cash. The convenience store, if you want to go buy water, cash. Ice, cash. The ferry to get across the water to see your friends, cash. Bring cash, okay? Yep, and we sent out another video as well on bugs. Uh, we are the Bimini Bug Busters, if you didn't know that. And uh, we wanted to make sure we emphasize uh, that the bugs are very friendly here. And so we welcome them as friends, but we don't welcome their bites. He welcomes them as friends. <laughs> They're evil. <laughs> so watch the other video. It talks a lot of detail about how to best prepare, but just know that um, that's something, that's an issue that everybody's gonna face. It's a real issue. Yeah. <laughs> and not always though, it's weather dependent, right? If it's rain just before the event, there's gonna be more bugs. If there's stagnant air, no wind, there's gonna be more bugs. But if not, then it could be great. Like today is absolutely beautiful. The day we arrived here, I got munched. I have over a hundred, and I covered up head to toe, except for my ankles. I have over a hundred bites on my feet, not to scare you, but it could be a beautiful day like today, or it could be like it was a couple of days ago. You just need to be, be, be prepared and watch our Bug Busters video. Yeah, so, and these are some of the concerns that we just wanna make sure everybody feels comfortable with at planning and preparing. And one of those is also communication. So once you're in the Bahamas, if you have Verizon or AT&T, most of them have a plan that you can opt into for a travel pass. Mm -hmm. Check it out, look into it, and make sure that you have the availability. You can pretty much get cell phone range uh, anywhere on the islands, but there are a few dead spots. But communication is tough. You know, there's people down at the beach, they're in the water, there's people out paddling, there's captains on boats, there's staff and crew running around. So it's not always easy to just call somebody and make something happen or text them. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. I want to add something to that. When you call your cell phone carrier and you ask about an international plan, be aware that oftentimes there's two variations, right? You can get one that gives you unlimited calls or there's one that can give you unlimited data. So make sure you're clear in talking with them what serves your purpose, what your needs are. For example, ours gives, a, gives us unlimited calls. However, once we reach our data, it drops you down to 3G and it makes it virtually impossible to use like a lot of your apps. 
and whatnot. But the app, WhatsApp, is number one app you should have while coming to Bimini. Every single islander uses that to communicate because they're communicating between the you know Bahamas and the U.S. and there's no charges for that. And it's how we communicate with our vendors and all of our staff and crew, and it's really helpful. And um, there is Wi-Fi at some of the units here. There's Wi-Fi at the front office when it's open in some places, but um, you just want to make sure you speak with your carrier and you're covered. And if you're not using your cell phone, bring walkie-talkies. Yeah, if you got handhelds, those work great too. Those are fun and awesome. So another hack tip uh, we want to cover is packing. So there are a few essential items that are really important to make sure we cover so that you know because sometimes uh, the supplies are limited here. If you have a group of five or six people staying in a unit, uh, there just may be limitations on what's available. For example, uh, bring a beach towel because there will be towels in the unit, but you want to have extra towels. So if each person brings a towel, you'll be good to go. Yeah, that's a big one. Your favorite pillow. You know, some of these pillows are hard, some of them are not, but if you're like a sensitive sleeper and you've got your favorite pillow that you can crush down into your travel bag and get on the boat, bring it. It might make you a little happier. Uh, toiletries. So, you know, if everybody brings an extra roll of toilet paper, you don't have to worry about it when you get here. And the nearest convenience store is a 10 minute walk down the street, but they might sell out of toilet paper as well. So that's one thing you do not want to run out of. <laughs> Uh, other toiletries like uh, the small shampoos, travel size toothpaste, shampoos, uh, those things will help as well. The, a lot of the units here, they'll have those like hotel size shampoo and conditioners, which is good for one or two days for one person. But like Travis said, if you're coming with your entire team, you want to make sure you have enough for everybody. Um, another really important element to bring is a first aid kit. So hydrogen, cortisone cream for any inflammation, meds if you get sick, for your asthma, your inhaler, anything. There are no Walgreens, no CVSs, nothing like that anywhere around here. So you need to come fully prepared with your Band-Aids, your medicine, everything you need. And uh, don't forget, this is one of the most important, important things to remember is that it's really hot over here. It's June in the Bahamas. You're gonna be hot all the time, so stay hydrated. Bring lots yeah. of water, pack the water. Uh, you can buy water on the island, but it's expensive to buy it by the bottle. And you don't necessarily want to drink the local water. We don't advise uh, to do that. So pack a lot of water, bring your re uh, recyclable bottles, uh, the, the, um, you know, canteens. the canteens, so you can fill them up with the jugs. Um, and you know, do your best to stay hydrated all throughout the day on your way over, and that'll keep you safe. And to add to that, electrolytes, you guys, even if you're not being physically strenuous or you're out on the boat, or if you're in the shade, the heat is so intense here, you're gonna get dehydrated and you wanna keep your electrolytes balanced so you don't get sick. So bring some extra. We've got our amazing sponsor this year, Buoy, who's providing everybody a small, everybody a small bottle of Buoy. Um, so you'll have that, but if you have your preference, please bring your preference. Yeah, so uh, also bring a flashlight just in case the power goes out. Mm -hmm. uh, she covered extra phone battery charger and uh, just talk to your team, make sure everybody's on the same page and that'll go a really long way. Yeah, and if you have other friends in the event that you know are staying in the same geographical location as you, say like you're, you're all staying at Bimini Co or you're staying at Bimini Big Game, communicate with each other. See what you can do to support each other and who's got what. Everyone doesn't need to bring an entire supply of everything. Sharing is caring and this is a beautiful community. We're all here for each other and if you forget something, I'm sure someone else in the group will have it. So just reach out. Yeah, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We <laughs> hope these uh, hacker tips help and we will see you guys in Bimini soon. Woo.